Last week I did a mounting and unboxing of the Sightmark Red Dot Scope that I got at Big Five for $40 on sale. This scope is also available at Cabela's for $50. It's a decent low cost Red Dot Scope, zero magnification, and today we're going to sight it in with a laser bore sight. I bought the laser bore sight at Cabela's. I've also seen them at uh, at Walmart for much cheaper. I think thirty dollars. And it's a uh, it's not a necessary tool. It's more of a convenience tool. It allows you to get a rough adjustment of your new scope without having to fire any rounds. Of course, it doesn't compensate for bullet drop. I've asked quite a few people what what the best range to sight in a 22 long rifle at and they've pretty much told me around 40 yards we'll just call that an arbitrary number I'm sure many people will correct me or try to correct me and say it's something else but anyway we're just for the sake of the video we're gonna say it's 40 yards and what's interesting about this is that this is kind of a magic number the bullet actually converges with the crosshairs twice because of the bullet drop so if you're aiming at something at 40 yards, you're going to hit it. If you're aiming at something at 100 yards, you're also going to hit it just because of the bullet drop. A 22 long rifle traveling at 1250 feet per second or whatever has about almost a 13 inch bullet drop. So you have a pretty good arc there. But you can see by the simple drawing why exactly a rifle would shoot low at you know 10 yards or shoot high at 75 yards. It all has to do with the ballistic arc. If you know what the ballistics of your rifle and ammunition is, you can get a pretty close estimation of where the bullet's going to hit when using your, your laser bore sight. And then when you get out to the range, you'll only need a couple clicks to really zero it in. Anyway, I hope this has been a little bit of help. Thank you for watching.